Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you why cars make squealing sounds. This is a question that gets asked really often, why do cars make squealing sounds? I'll be going over five simple reasons why your car or someone else's car might be making a squealing sound. Now you should look further into each of these reasons and causes if you hear a squealing sound. Don't just assume that it's one of them. You know, if you think that it's one of them, look further until you find the true reason. Now reason number one for why cars make squealing sounds is loose or worn belts. Now you see your car likely has a few belts um, in the engine bay compartment. Now those belts are made from certain materials and those materials go bad and decay over time. Also the tension of the belt itself loosens up over time. So what happens is you know when you first get your car the belts are in pretty much perfect condition and they're tight into the perfect tension level. As you drive the car, just like anything else, the material starts to decay and lose its good qualities. And also the belts themselves start to loosen over time. So if you notice, especially that you hear a squealing sound during acceleration or deceleration, then that is usually a really good sign that it is a loose or worn belt or multiple loose or worn belts. So if you hear a squealing sound, pay attention to when you're hearing it because if you're hearing it when you push that gas pedal or when the RPM start to drop when you start to decelerate or accelerate um, then it usually signals that it is a loose or worn belt or multiple and belts have to be replaced and serviced um, after a certain number of kilometers so check out how many kilometers your car has and look at your owner's manual to figure out if it might be one of the belts <clears throat> reason number two is the steering system now you've probably heard this before on other cars and maybe even your own car when when someone is turning a corner you hear like a, a squealing or like a like a, like a nice screeching sound and you know it's really loud usually and if that's the case if you're cornering and you hear a loud or even not so loud but most of the time loud screeching or screeching or squealing sound um, then it usually is something in the steering system now there are many moving parts in the steering system um, so you have to look further into it but at least you know that if you're cornering and you hear a squealing sound pretty much only when you're cornering you can narrow it down to something in the steering system Reason number three is brakes. If your uh, car squeals or screeches during braking, while braking, while you push the brake pedal, then that usually means that the brakes need to be replaced or potentially even serviced. Now there's actually a wear indicator um, in the brake pad. And what that means is as your brake pad wears out, when it gets thin enough, there's a little metal piece that is meant to purposely make a screeching sound or a squealing sound, depending on you know how it sounds sounds to you um, and that allows you to know that your brakes are thin your brake pads are thin and need to be replaced soon that they're pretty much worn out they're almost worn out now there are other reasons uh, other than your brake pads being worn down why if you break your brakes would make a screeching or squealing sound so if you notice that you hear the sound while you're braking look into your brakes it could be a wide variety of things but at least you can narrow it down to the brake pad and the rotor area okay or the disc area, depending on um, what kind of brakes you have. Reason number four is if you have worn out alternator bearings. So if you narrow the sound down and it sounds like it's coming from the area where the alternator is in the car, then that is usually a sign that the alternator bearings could be worn. There are a few fixes for this, um, but you really want to narrow it down to that first. You don't want to go and replace the alternator only to find out that the screeching or squealing sound was coming from the brake area. So you really want to narrow it down to this area first. And if it sounds like it's coming from the alternator area, you want to look into the alternator bearings or maybe even, you know, a whole new alternator if you happen to need one anyways, or if your alternator is so old and it's really worn out anyways, maybe it's worth it to replace the entire thing. Last but not least, reason number five is it could be one of the many other moving parts that is rubbing, malfunctioning, or simply misaligned. Your car is full of many, 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 many hundreds, maybe even thousands of moving parts. And if just one of those parts is rubbing against something else, or if it's malfunctioning, like it's not spinning at the proper speed, or if it's hitting something else, or it's misaligned, like, you know, it's not on the right alignment, maybe it's wobbly, 
you know, that it could be making a squealing noise. Now, the first four reasons are probably the most common reasons. The fifth reason is if it's not any of those four, then you have to follow the noise. You have to listen for the screeching or squealing sound and maybe have someone help you with this because it's easier with two people, you know, and listen for the sound and narrow it down to a specific part. And this could take minutes or it could take hours, but it's better if you do this part yourself in my opinion because if you ask um, you know a professional to do this and it takes them three hours and you're paying them a hundred bucks an hour that's 300 bucks when you could have just listened for the sound yourself so if you have the ability or the desire to find the problem yourself then try and find it yourself and that's basically it in this video I've gone over why cars make squealing sounds I've gone over five simple reasons if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.